After Andy Pandy had finished his breakfast, he went to his special cupboard to fetch the book of pictures he'd promised to show his friends. In the book were pictures of Andy and all his friends and all their houses. Andy had never seen this bell before. Now he'd learned how to ring the bell, Andy wanted his friends to hear it. Looby Lou and Teddy came running. Teddy wanted to ring the bell himself. Looby Lou said it was a fine bell but very noisy. Andy agreed. So he'd saved the bell for special occasions. But Teddy really wanted to ring that bell, so he waited until nobody was watching. Andy was so busy trying to pick up the heavy book of pictures that he didn't know what Teddy was up to behind his back. When Teddy was back in his own garden, he felt it was safe to ring the bell. Andy Pandy had a big surprise. Someone had taken his bell. Bilbo and Orby came out to complain about the noise, but Teddy thought they wanted to join in the fun. Luby Lou had come to see why Andy was ringing his bell, but Andy told her someone had taken it, and he was going to find out who. Andy told Teddy that he should not have taken the bell and that he mustn't ring it ever again. Teddy was cross at being told off, but at least the bell ringing had stopped. Andy left the bell on the picnic table. When he'd brought his book of pictures out to the green, he'd gently ring the bell to call his friends. Andy had forgotten his book of pictures was so very heavy. Andy was trapped. He needed help, but how could he tell his friends he was trapped? Of course, he'd ring the bell. Very soon, Luby came to help Andy. Now what could they do? Tiffo had come to see what was going on. When Luby Lou told him Andy was trapped, Tiffo knew just what to do. <laughs> Teddy was sorry he'd caused so much trouble ringing the bell and helped Andy to lift the book of pictures. Everyone wanted to see the book. Andy Pandy was glad his bell had helped him in the end, and he was delighted everyone liked his book of pictures. Andy, Teddy, too, playing in the garden every day, making things 
is so much fun.